All right, this is your ass to grass split squat or the ATG split squat. Now the way that we perform this movement needs to be completely pain free in the knee. So don't just keep going with this if you're feeling pain symptoms at all. You stop where that range of motion gets to and that might be the range of motion you're working with or we'll show you a regression to work on that full range of motion movement if we can get there, right? But again, pain is gonna dictate how far you really go with this one, but the full movement is gonna be a really wide split stance, right? This heel is up off the ground nice and high and I'm just gonna shift forward as far as I can possibly go, keeping my heel down with my knee going forward until it no longer can and then the heel comes off the ground and I keep going down. This back leg is trying to be straight. We try to squeeze this back leg's glutes and keep that torso nice and upright as you get into that end range position. And then you'll press yourself back to the top. Now when you press, you're emphasizing squeezing those quads to stand you up, right? So you're gonna be here, nice control into that bottom, leg long behind you, torso upright, glutes squeeze, press with the quad. And that's the ass to grass split squat. We, that's the full version of it, right? Now again, if I were to feel some pain, maybe like right here, then I'm just, that's my range of motion I'm gonna work today, but I'm still gonna emphasize squeezing that quad to stand up out of it and loading into it a little bit. A regression for that, for like if you wanna try to get more range of motion that's pain free and build up to that, would be to just go to a height. So you start with maybe a box or a bench and then you lower it as you get more progression into this, all right? So I'm gonna start with my foot up here, same thing, I'm just reaching forward into it. Heels down, heels down, now my heel's breathing. Leg is long behind me, torso upright, squeezing that back loop. Press off the front foot. Let's try to straighten that all the way out, okay? So that is the regression for your ass to grass split squat. And the intent behind doing a split squat with that full flexion of the knee is because if you lack strength in every position here, we need to tackle it and eliminate it because that's going to lead to pain in other movements or when you get tired, things like that, all right? So that's kind of the idea of going into that full deep range of motion and then pressing yourself back out of it every time is we wanna make sure that the knee can do its job, whether it's fully compressed or whether it's partially compressed. It shouldn't matter. Right, so that's what we're doing, we're working on that. It also kind of works that ankle's range of motion because you have to go as far over the toe as possible with your knee, which is putting your ankle into that flex position until it can no longer tolerate it. And then the bottom of your foot gets stronger. It's a win, win, win.